Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be creating SVG elements with D3. Let's get started. So let's first off kind of talk about what is an SVG. Okay, so uh, first off it is a scalable vector graphics. And again, it can come in a bunch of different shapes, lines, rectangles, circles, ellipses, etc. Now it is also text based. Okay, now it is similar to structure of HTML. It sits in the DOM. Okay, so again, that means that we are going to be able to interact with it. And it should have some absolute points uh, relative to the origin zero, zero. Okay, those are some just some specifications that we're always going to need to kind of keep in line. Now, I'm not going to go through and um, create up a lot of um, examples just for uh, SVG, because uh, again, we're, our, our purpose here is definitely to be playing with D3. So let's go in and just show how to work with D3 in creating SVG elements. So first off, let's create some variables in here because we're going to want to reuse the width, um, the height, and again, we'll just make a square here. And so here, let's go on and uh, create uh, the SVG element. And this one, we're going to say uh, var SVG, because again, we're going to uh, want to do things to this particular element. In here, d3.select body uh, dot append SVG. And then let's go on and put down here, uh, we want to fill in the attributes uh, with width of width and the attribute here of height with height and this needs to be width okay so this initially creates our SVG now I can go on and run this and if we look at the if we inspect everything we see here that there is an oh, let me there is an SVG and so if I actually just highlight this notice that there's actually that element is being highlighted for us and again it's just a little 500 by 500 uh, SVG and you can see it right here in the corner whenever I highlight it it says it's 500 by 500 uh, so now let's go on and actually add something to it okay so maybe uh, let's do um, let's take that SVG here and we want to append um, let's just do a line to start out with okay and uh, we have to give it it's going to take actually several elements in here it's going to take an x1 an x2 a y1 a y2 because again you need at least those four points okay so that we can actually create up our nice line so let's do that with um, our attribute here we want x1 uh, to be at 100 we want x2 uh, to be at, let's say, um, 400. Um, we want y1 to be at, let's say, 40 here and here. Let's say y2 is going to be at 40. So let's actually, uh, oh, and you know what? That's not going to help us any because, again, I can run this. And notice, it's stuff is there. There is a line, okay? You can see that it's there, but you don't know where it is. So let's actually go on and give it some style, okay? And uh, we want the stroke in here uh, to be navy, okay? And now you can see that there is a line there. All right. Again, we're not we're not we're not making anything uh, amazing here, okay? We're just putting in a line. Um, and again, so it's going uh, from X, um, X1, Y1, so that's at, oh, what did I have? 140. Okay, so X is uh, 100, Y is 40, all the way up to 400, and that would be um, at 440. Um, so then let's go on and maybe do something else okay so maybe maybe let's change it and let's just rotate it a little bit okay so we want this to maybe instead of 400 mm, now let's do it 400 and let's change this to something like um, 
Y is 400, I would say. So notice here, now that actually changes it and it gives us the angle, okay? So again, just think about this as, um, as just a, a basic grid, X, Y coordinates, and you're going to be able to put any, any type of line you want there. <sighs> now, that's a line, all right? And I'm going to um, comment that out, and we're going to go on and do something like SVG. Let's add in a rectangle, okay? So we can do, um, what, append here, rec for rectangle. Now let's add in our attributes here. We want x. Well, let's put it at 0. We want our y here. Let's put that also at 0. And then we need to give it um, a width and a height. So let's do some attribute here. Width is um, 100. An attribute here. Height is uh, 200. So if we run that, notice now we get this nice um, rectangle in here. And again, it we kept this, uh, the, the main is that it's going to be um, black. So, but we could also go in through and um, change the style here and say, I believe it's color. Uh, and let's do, Navy. Uh, no, what was what was that? Uh, let me let me think about it for just a second. What what do we change for our color? What did we use? All right. If I all right, let me let me try uh, not color. Let's try fill. Ah, that's it. Okay. So fill here. Um, and let me make that. Let me just make it a red. So here you can see now we have a fill color here of red if we want to change the coloring. Uh, let's go on then and um, do another one as well. So let me go on and change this as well. And let's do, let's do a circle next. So SVG dot append, we want circle um, and then let's do here what do we need mm, dot attribute we want um, CX so the center of X here let's just put it at 250 attribute here CY here we're going to put it at um, I don't know 50 then let's add another attribute here, and this is for the radius, okay, of, um, let's say, I don't know, let's do 60, okay, and let's go on and run that, oops, there we go, um, and you can see here that it is um, a nice circle here, and let's go on and maybe move that um, down a little bit. Let's do 40. Make it smaller so we can actually see the whole thing. Uh, and let's go on and actually um, change up the color. And I believe that's still fill. Uh, and let's let's make sure that it's red. Okay. And so then there again, using the fill method, we can change the color to red. Uh, one more um, that we can do here is of course doing an ellipse. Now what? What this would change, and I'm gonna actually uh, copy this, and I'm going to actually, you know, no, we'll just do it. We'll, I don't know why it's doing that. All right, um, let's go on and change and make up and no, I'll just paste this. It's a lot easier here. Um, so this, let's instead of circle, we're going to do ellipse. Now our C1 and our C or C X and C Y are going to be the same, okay? Um, and but one thing that we need to change here is we have an R X and uh, uh, R Y, okay? And this is going to give us this elongation, all right? So let's say that we want um, this X at 150, 
this RY, let's put it at 50 itself. Let's go on over and let's do this and notice now we have a nice ellipse. Um, now let's go and maybe go on and do one more. So let's say that we want to add in some text into the SVG. Okay, so we can do that in a couple different ways. Um, but something that is probably a little bit more useful is we need to have a little bit of a translation function. And let's, uh, so our SVG is going to stay the same. All right, we want our height um, and everything, but we're going to add in this uh, a grouping element. Okay, and I'll, I'll, let me do that down here. This grouping element, I'm just going to call it G. Oops. Okay, is our SVG.append here, and we're adding in G. Okay, G is for a group. Now, what this will do, though, we're going to actually give it an attribute of transform. Okay, and this is just uh, some function in here uh, that's going to take in DI for this example, and it's going to return in here translate in here zero, zero. Okay, just one moment. Okay, so once we've had this translation feature, let me kind of uh, talk about this uh, just a little bit, okay? So this G element that we're using in here is uh, going to allow us to group certain SVG elements together. Now in our case, uh, we're going to be pulling in together an ellipse as well as text. Okay, so we're going to, um, or maybe, you know what, let's do a circle in text, uh, something like that. So it'll be something like a little stop sign or a caution sign or something. Uh, now the next thing is, again, when we're, we're using this translate uh, function, okay, it's going to be necessary for us that we're going to be able to have uh, the correct angles and everything else so that our text doesn't wind up looking funky and everything else doesn't really look funky. And our, um, so let's, let's, let's go on and actually just do this and we'll, we'll talk about it as we're um, going along. So we have our SVG, uh, we have our grouping. So here let's look at an ellipse, whoops. Um, I want to put this up here. Uh, do I want an ellipse? You know what? Maybe I said it. I said we'd do a circle. So let's do a, a circle. Um, so let's, um, oh no, we want G actually. G dot append here. We're going to append uh, the circ and we don't need that. I don't know why I did that. Uh, let's call this um, uh, circle uh, g dot append uh, and we need to go on and fill these out. So let's say something like um, 250 um, 50 with a radius of 50. Okay, and we're going to give this a an attribute of fill and we want this to be um, red uh, and let's say we need to give it some opacity uh, and let's give it 50% opacity so it's pretty transparent. Um, the next thing that we want to do is go on and add the text so g dot append text uh, and here, let's go, whoa, that kind of moved over too far. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll do it here. Um, now let's do X of 140, yeah, 150 will be fine. Um, an attribute here, Y of uh, 50. Another attribute here, we want the stroke uh, to be hmm, black. Um, now what do we want in here? Let's do a font family in here and we'll do the sans serif. An attribute in here and we'll do the font size 
in here, what font size, let's do, let's make it big, 24 pixels. Uh, then we also want something to say something like stop, okay, um, or danger, something like that. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, and so let's go on and check and see how that did. Oh, and it created our circle, but we don't have our text in there. So what... Did we, oh, you know what? I bet we need, let me, let's look here real quick. No, that didn't work. All right, let's see here. What did I, what did I miss in here? Let's take a look, let's take a look. So, we want this to be G. All right, and so a little bit of the silliness again. Let's go on and go back here, and this needs to be text, not attribute. Um, so let's go on and rerun that. And here you can see danger. Now notice this doesn't really fit very well. So maybe we want to move it over a little bit and maybe or maybe we want um, let's make our radius bigger. Okay. Um, and then maybe let's move this over uh, to the right. So let's change this to 450. Mm, it's 500 by 500, so let's do 250. Too far over. Let's split the difference and do 200. Okay, so now you can see that we can at least uh, add in some additional text in there. Um, so again, this will be very useful to us when, for example, we're wanting to put in pointers on data or put in a little message into our SVGs about the data set or anything else. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.